Day six of the 2016 Summer Olympic Games have just come to a close for prelims. I'm Ariana Kukers. And I'm Carolyn Choice. And this morning we started off with the Splash and Dash, the men's 50 meter freestyle. Men's 50 meter freestyle, we have Anthony, we have Nathan, both in that 21-6 range, and that's pretty much right where we saw them at trials. And if you ask me, coming out of the 100 for Nathan, I think that's a great morning <laughs> swim. So they're in the second and third place. I, I think it's it's good boating for, for semifinals tonight, but great swims out of those guys. Yeah, I think so too, and it was Tony's first time getting in his individual of this meet, and so he he got in there, and I think he put together a great time. Yeah, and one thing that, that Anthony has done really well, and I think it showed in his 100 free on the relay, he has so much early speed right now. Like that has all come together on his taper this summer. So I think this is going to be a great 50 for him. I think so too. The next race was the women's 800 freestyle where Katie Ledecky is going in as the top seed in commanding fashion. She had a new Olympic record this morning, 812. Yeah, cruised to a new <laughs> Olympic <know>. record. <laughs> um, you know, her final, she gets to rest the 800. She doesn't have to swim her finals tonight. Mm -hmm. She gets to swim that tomorrow night. Um, but Leah Smith also with a nice strong yeah. swim. She'll be in the finals as well. We, I'm, I can hope that <laughs> Leah, I think that she has a great yeah. shot at a medal in this event, um, either second or third, yeah. because we can pretty much guarantee that Ledecky is <laughs> going to run away with this yeah. one. And her world record, like we talked about earlier, is an 806. Mm -hmm. So that that could be in, in jeopardy here. I think so too. And what I loved about Leah Smith at trials was she was not afraid of Katie Ledecky. And oh, I no. think that that serves in her favor as yeah. in, you know, Katie's ready and poised to go out and, and take this on. And I think that Leah, you know, if she can if she can hang tough with that, I think she could have an amazing swim. Yeah, she's not afraid of Katie. And I, I do love that about her too. Yeah, that's really cool. The next prelim was the men's 100 meter butter fly where I mean Michael has had a full last couple days <laughs> yeah. and you know I think that he went in there and, and just got a nice prelim swim in um, I heard that he was joking about he wanted to be in the second um, semifinal heat tonight but he's in the first so not as much time after his 200 IM but he got he got done what he needed to this morning he did and I think the way this entire meet unfolds for Michael is actually in his favor because mm -hmm. he has his very last 200 IM probably his last 200 IM ever, ever from what we hear <laughs> and then it's all hundreds from there yeah. so the whole week kind of tapers out for him but tonight's gonna be it'll be interesting yeah I think so too and and Tom Shields the other American um, snuck in there and so we're gonna have those two going at it tonight and that will decide the final heat for tomorrow night yep. so the last prelim this morning was the women's 200 backstroke where Maya Dorado had a great swim um, she had obviously a busy night last night with the relay and then came in this morning and put together a great swim she's going in seated third tonight yeah we have Maya Dorado with a nice easy 208 yep. it looked pretty easy to me and Maya has been very consistent very steady for this being her first Olympics and for the schedule that she's had she has shown <laughs> no fear no fatigue so she's definitely looking strong going into semifinals tonight we have Missy yep. um, sneaking in an 11th place mm -hmm. um, and you know we talked about Missy yesterday the heart of a champion I have faith that Missy will get in the top eight tonight yep. I really do I think she'll put together a nice semifinal swim the 200 back this is Missy's baby she is yep. the world record holder she's the reigning Olympic champion so I think she'll fight for this one. I definitely think so as well. So that was a wrap of prelims. We have some finals to look forward to tonight. We have the showdown between Michael Phelps and Ryan Lochte in the 200 IM. I cannot wait to see how that one goes. Absolutely. <laughs> I, this is going to be, I think, an epic showdown, an epic yep. race. These guys going head to head one final time. Something that I actually noticed. So we just wrapped up day six prelims. In this entire Olympic Games, we have not seen an individual repeat champion from London yet. So not a single gold medal has been yeah. the same from yeah. this from London to this event. But tonight, if Michael does win the 200 IM, yeah. he could be the first repeat wow. champion of this Olympic Games, which would be pretty neat. Yeah. Um, but you know, we. we Ryan or Michael, it's, yeah. it's all good. <laughs> so that's obviously one that we're looking for tonight. And then we had both of our ladies advance in the Hunter Freestyle. So Simone Manuel and Abby Weitzel will be yeah. in that one. So we're going to stay tuned. And we want to know who you guys are pulling for tonight, Lochte versus Phelps. So tweet at us using hashtag Swim United. Let us know who you're following. You can follow USA Swimming on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at usaswimming.org as well as our YouTube channel. And follow Ari and I at Carolyn Joyce, at Ariana Cookers. Like you said, let us know who you're cheering for, <laughs> Team Lochte or Team Phelps. We want to hear it. Yeah, we can't wait. And we will tune in for Day 6 Finals coming up tonight.